I wanted to make a video as a kind of completion of an other video where I have showed that you can make a current visible. With the help of a resistor parallel to that resistor there is a voltage drop and you can say connect a light emitting diode over that resistor in the uh, plus lead, positive lead or a negative lead. And when current flows in the circuit there is a voltage drop and the LED lights up. That was the idea. So my next idea was to make say a kind of indicator for a too low current. And that proved to be not very easy. I will do my best to say explain what's happening in the circuit. And this is the first circuit that I made. Uh, I use my 12 volt unstabilized voltage supply mounted here a diode. Here we have that LED that is parallel to a 10 ohm resistor of 2 watt because it must be able to handle handle some uh, wattage etc etc. A voltage drop multiplied by the current tells you how much watts is dissipated in that uh, resistor anyway. And I had here this beautiful 250 ohms 50 watt power um, variable power resistor. So here we have in fact a situation where Ohm's law is valid and um, when I turned that uh, variable resistor between 0 and 250 ohms I found these values. The whole idea was the LED must uh, uh, switch off, say uh, give out no light at um, too low current and uh, must give enough light when the current in the circuit is ok. And of course this can also be an electronic device. So this is a resistor now but it can also be an electronic device. And the second idea was, I had these measurements by the way, but I want to tell at first something more about the second circuit. This is an unstabilized 12 volt voltage. Uh, that means that the uh, voltage drop here, there is a, a division between the voltage drop here and the voltage drop here. That's according to Ohm's law. That means that uh, when you change here the output impedance, output resistance, it means that the um, light emitting diode lights up or does not light up, but the voltage here changes very substantially. That's very important because I wanted to, uh, say to make a circuit where only the current had an effect on the uh, lighting up or say um, no longer light when the current gets too low. But because here there is a substantial voltage drop, this, this is a useful circuit for an electronic application, but uh, because this is all say according to Ohm's law, there is no stabilized voltage here. That means that also the supply uh, voltage to your electronic device drops down. At the same time you see the LED light up or you see the LED uh, light up no longer. But in a case where the voltage drops here you also see that effect. So the second idea was this, make a voltage stabilizer. With the help of a 7812 positive voltage stabilizer. So now when we vary the, the current in the circuit here. 
uh, the voltage here at this location always stays 12 volt. Of course, when the uh, regulator cannot uh, handle it any longer, but anyway. This is the principle. So we have here 24 volts in and here we have 12 volts in. That's a difference, substantial difference. And I know that this is perhaps a very, um, uh, in a certain way, sloppy video, but also a complicated video. Because we have to do with Ohm's law, but uh, in this thing, in this part of the circuit, we have a stabilized voltage. So, what happens when you uh, change here the output resistance? This can also be an electronic device. So, the idea was this, low current warning with one green LED. And also here, low current warning with one green LED. But, uh, say, let's first go to the uh, schematic without a voltage stabilizer. And that's this. Is there some logic in this, uh, in these measured values? Well, you can see um, the, the LED switches off at 130 milliampere at uh, 9.7 volts. That's the output voltage. The LED switch is on uh, at 330 milliampere, but at the same time the voltage, the output voltage, drops down to 6 volts. So the current goes up, the voltage goes down, and that's completely logical concerning Ohm's law. And that's what happens in this circuit because there is no stabilized voltage. And here we have the same values, say. Um, the Rx is 500 ohms, and then we see that the LED switches off at 130 milliampere and switches on at 250 milliampere. And there is, of course, a relation uh, at a higher current flowing in the circuit, the voltage drops down to 7.8 volts. And the reason is, again, that there is no voltage stabilization. Anyway, so it's logical. That's what I wanted to tell and say the key thing is that the output voltage varies substantially with such a circuit without a voltage stabilizer. Now we have that voltage stabilizer circuit, a 7812. Here it is in the circuit. 7812, and here is the whole setup. Here is the diode. Uh, here is the indicator that, let's say, the, the current is too low or is okay. And here is a, a simple voltage indicator with the help of one uh, red light emitting diode connected with a 1K resistor. Say, that indicates in a certain way the voltage here. But I've also uh, made here this voltmeter. By the way, these are the values connected to the uh, circuit without the stabilizer. So, um, with the stabilizer we see some other things, but also the same things. <laughs> That's a very strange thing of this circuit anyway. Uh, the LED with that stabilizer, uh, the voltage here stays constantly 12 volt, but here it also changes somewhat, and that has everything to do with this resistor. And here is the load, that can be an electronic device, but this resistor plays a role. Um, that means that also here at the output of the resistor there is a voltage divider uh, related to the uh, to these two resistors but at the same time the stabilizer will do everything to get 
to hold the voltage here out at 12 volts. So that means that there is a, a not so much uh, voltage differences when the current changes. So and here you see that uh, when the Rx is 1k, 1000 ohms here, um, the LED is off at 140 milliampere, and it's quite strange that we have here three times 140 milliampere, even when that Rx changes. Has I think everything to do with the barrier voltage of the LED. Uh, it's a semiconductor, so it has an effect on the maximum voltage that can say occur parallel to that 10 ohm resistor. So this is a semiconductor. It doesn't act linear. It has a barrier voltage anyway. Um, so the LED is on at 280 milliampere. The LED is off at 140 milliampere. The voltage differs with the highest current between 7.4 7 volt out, say 7.4 volt out here, and 10.1 volt at 140 milliampere. Uh, with a resistor of 500 ohms here, RX 500 ohms, we have another situation. Uh, the LED starts to light up at um, 300 milliampere and the voltage out differs between 8.3 and 10.3 volts and with an 85 ohm resistor here. Um, the LED is off at 140 milliampere and, and is on at 160 milliampere. Well, that's a quite strange value anyway. I hope I did this measurement properly, but anyway, the voltage stays in a certain way around 10.3 or so volts. And when higher current starts to flow, the voltage drops a little bit, though the variation is, is, quite, is uh, quite high. So, uh, anyway. Does this um, stabilizer have an effect? Yes, it has an effect, but the conclusion that I will take out of this experiment is not so clear. That's all what I wanted to tell. So let's pan over what I've made here. The stabilizer and I will do my best to st show something about the circuit. I have to put down the camera and do some movement. I hope it doesn't drop anyway. So a not conclusive video. I, I have to do more experiments to show what really happens in this circuit. Anyway, uh, sometimes these things are not very easy to understand. Anyway, uh, this is by the way the situation without the stabilizer, but I want to show also how the circuit works with that stabilizer. And now I have to go with my voltage supply to approximately 24 volts. Uh, I will switch off and the resistor, parallel resistor is now 1K here, 1000 ohms. Switch off all the lights. Uh, I don't see any, I don't see many things happen anyway. Uh, well, of course I have to connect here the power supply to the circuit. Anyway, let's do it. Okay, LED lights up again. Red LED here tells me that there is voltage parallel. Now it's via the stabilizer here. Voltage is parallel to the uh, power resistor. 
say approximately 10 volt, 150 milliampere, 10 volt out. And the LED is off. I hope we have one minute. Now on, I'm now on 15 minutes on my camera, but it is quite a complicated circuit. Though it seems simple, anyway. Change the... So now you see that green LED here light up. That was what I wanted to show. And now we are on... Two hundred eighty milliampere, two hundred sixty at eight point eight volt with that stabilizer. Turn back the current, one hundred and ten milliampere, ten volt LED is off. So this is a little bit what I wanted to show again. Thank, thanks for watching. It's not very easy, this video. And this is the crux. Changing the current in the circuit by varying, say, the load. The LED lights up more fierce. And, say, there must be a certain difference between these two situations with the uh, say stabilizer and the and not the stabilizer anyway thanks for watching